Hi guys, uh, it's me again. Uh, just a follow up on the heels so far. Uh, there was some things I forgot to mention on the first two parts of my videos uh, on building the EOS. So, anyway, firstly, if you remove the top cap, okay, the sleeve, okay, carefully the tank, okay, because of the length of the Wick I made, I made and uh, specified it as a uh, seventeen mm. You can straight away put on your top cap without the wick touching the top cap after it's fully closed. And vape, okay, in dripper mode. Okay, and uh, so far, so far I have um, reduced the <coughs> coil down to uh, four three rep on my thirty gauge canter, and uh, it's wicking beautifully now. Okay, and I'm able to get a slightly uh, warmer vape. Uh, than the cold vape. Still feels pretty cold, uh, but uh, it's an improvement, I would say. So, uh, the next thing is that uh, <coughs> some of you might have problems uh, fitting the wick through the, the short wick through the tank. So, I'm going to show you an easy way to put the tank through the wick, put the wick through the tank, sorry. So, get a safety pin, straighten it, okay, poke it through the tank, and poke the other end of the pin through your wick carefully. Okay, and all you need to do is just guide the tank in, straight and screw the tank in okay then you just top up your juice cap everything back and vape pretty uh, simple okay that's all uh, guys